In late December 2025, U.S. President Donald Trump announced plans for a new class of U.S. Navy warship, described as a return of the battleship and positioned as the centerpiece of a future Golden Fleet. The program, now referred to as the Trump Class, immediately drew attention for both its scale and its ambition. But beyond the headlines, what exactly has been announced, what is still undefined, and how realistic is this concept? In today's video, we're breaking down everything we know so far about the Trump-class battleship, its claimed role, and its proposed capabilities, and whether a ship like this is actually feasible. Let's dive in. What has been announced so far is a new class of U.S. Navy surface combatant officially labeled the Trump-class battleship. Public statements describe a ship far larger than today's destroyers, with a projected displacement in the 30,000 to 40,000 ton range, and a lead vessel already named USS Defiant. The plan outlined publicly begins with two ships, with a longer-term ambition of eventually fielding 20 to 25 hulls if the concept moves forward. Even at this early stage, those figures alone place the Trump class well outside the Navy's recent surface combatant designs. In terms of timeline, the program is described as being in an early design phase, with construction of the first ship targeted for the early 2030s. That immediately frames the Trump class as a long-term project rather than a near-term fleet solution. A ship entering service in the 2030s reflects assumptions about future naval warfare, future threats, and future budgets, not current operational gaps. The Trump class is being presented as a modern capital ship built for high-intensity maritime conflict. Official language emphasizes heavy offensive firepower and next-generation defensive systems rather than armor and naval guns in the traditional sense. Despite the battleship label, the concept appears closer to a very large, missile-centric surface combatant designed around power generation, sensors, and magazine depth. One of the most significant claims tied to the announcement is that the Trump class would absorb or replace the Navy's earlier DDGX destroyer concept. DDGX was intended to become the Navy's next-generation large surface combatant, optimized for integrated air and missile defense and future power-hungry systems. Folding that role into an even larger platform suggests a major shift in surface fleet planning, at least on paper. If you want to learn more about the DDGX concept, check out our video. Link can be found in the description below. Now, back to Trump's battleship. Weapons discussions around the Trump class have focused heavily on advanced systems. Public statements referenced hypersonic weapons, railguns, and high-powered lasers, alongside conventional missile and gun armament. Some reporting has also linked the concept to a possible nuclear-capable cruise missile role, although no official configuration details have been released. At this stage, however, specific layouts remain unclear. There is no confirmed vertical launch cell count, no finalized sensor suite, and no publicly released propulsion architecture. Many of the more detailed descriptions circulating online combine official statements with speculation and extrapolation from past Navy programs. Until formal acquisition documents or budget justifications appear, these details should be treated as provisional. What is clear is that the Trump class is being marketed as a centerpiece platform rather than an escort. A ship in this size range implies substantial electrical power generation, large radar arrays, and the ability to carry significant quantities of missiles and future weapons. That comes with both advantages and trade-offs in survivability, cost, and fleet integration. The announcement also emphasized domestic shipbuilding, with the Trump class intended to be designed and constructed in U.S. shipyards. That message aligns with the broader Golden Fleet framing, 
and has clear political and industrial implications. But it also raises practical questions about shipyard capacity, workforce availability, and the Navy's already strained surface shipbuilding pipeline. This is where skepticism enters the discussion. Many defense analysts have pointed out that several of the technologies highlighted in the announcement remain immature at scale. The U.S. Navy has spent years experimenting with electromagnetic railguns, yet has struggled to move beyond prototypes. High-powered shipboard lasers are advancing, but integrating them into a combat-ready system that works reliably in harsh maritime conditions remains challenging. Combining multiple developmental technologies into a single hull multiplies risk. There are also hard procurement realities. Very large surface combatants take time to design, build, and certify. Even optimistic construction timelines often stretch once funding cycles, long lead components, and testing are factored in. Analysts have questioned whether the cost and industrial burden of building multiple 30,000-plus ton warships aligns with current Navy priorities. From a strategic perspective, critics argue that concentrating so much capability in a single surface hull runs counter to recent trends toward distributed lethality. In a missile-saturated environment, large and visible platforms become high-value targets. Protecting them requires layered defenses, robust networking, and constant support from escorts, submarines, and aircraft. None of this means the Trump class is impossible, but it does mean that the program, as currently described, carries significant technical, financial, and operational risk. But what do you think? Will Trump's battleship ever come to life? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.